Hello and welcome to learning Final Cut Pro here at you School Me. In this first lesson, I'm just going to give you a very quick overview of Final Cut Pro's interface. So I'm going to launch it from my dock. And as you can see, it's a very nice and simple interface. It's made up of four windows, three running along the top and one along the bottom. And I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner. Now this is called the browser. And of course, it tells you the name of the window at the top there. And the browser is used to organize all of your project elements. And these include things like audio files, video clips, which use the sprocket hole film strip icon, our sequences, still images, which just has an ABC between the sprocket holes for its icon, and bins. And bins are folders that you can organize things into. Now to the right here, we can access a huge amount of information about these clips. These include things such as its duration, its frame size and frame rate and the compressor used, as well as many areas where you can add a description for the scene, um, something like great take, and you can enter all of this information. Now we also have the effects tab and the effects tab is a very quick way of browsing for things like video filters and transitions and applying them to your clip, but we'll look at doing that in coming lessons. So. I'm going to double click on this clip to load it into my viewer. And the viewer is where we preview and mark our unedited version and choose which bits make it to our final sequence. So as you can see, I can do things like scrub <laughs> through the video clip. Um, because it's very long, I can decide to set an in point here and an out point here. And then I can actually drag this down into my timeline and apply just that section of a larger clip to my sequence. I'm going to undo that though. So the viewer is where you just view your unedited footage and decide which bits make it to your sequence. We can also access things like the audio waveforms and change the level and pan, as well as um, adjust various basic motion properties such as scale, rotation, etc. So that's the viewer. This is where you um, play back and mark your unedited footage. Now, down the bottom, we have the timeline. And the timeline, as you can see, I've got a few clips here. This is a graphical representation of all the editing decisions that you make. And the timeline is closely linked with the canvas. Whereas the timeline is a graphical representation, the canvas is a visual one. So, if I click play here in the canvas, you can see that the playhead moves in the timeline as well. If I click play or hit the space bar with the timeline active, the same happens in the canvas. If I click drag my playhead along the scrubber bar here, you can see that it also moves in the timeline. So, whereas the viewer and browser are used for viewing unedited raw material, the canvas and the timeline are used for viewing your finished final sequence. You can also apply um, adjustments in the timeline. You can uh, tighten up edits. You can chop clips in half and um, really tighten up the whole sequence. But what you see here in the canvas is what people will see on the TV or at the cinema, wherever your finished film ends up. And what you see in the viewer is just your unedited footage um, from which you choose the relevant sections to apply. Now, in the far right, we have the toolbar, and this provides many of the um, tools used for editing. For example, the razor blade tool, I can select that here, and I can come and chop this clip in half. I'll select my selection tool again, and I can highlight that and hit delete, and you can see it removes the clip. Now, just like Photoshop, if it has a small arrow in the top right hand corner, which most of them do except the selection tool, you can click and hold and it will give you actually other options. So we can have the razor blade all tool or just the razor blade tool. You can select things like that. Now below that we have the audio meters and they simply tell you the audio levels um, of any of your clips. So if I hit uh, play in the canvas, you can see that the clip is roughly around minus 18 decibels and it will also do the same in the viewer.
and you can see there that that was just below zero decibels. Also, when you click drag, it has audio scrubbing. You can see that those adjust as you scrub over your video. So that was a very quick overview of Final Cut Pro. The browser and the viewer working together to preview and mark your unedited material. And the canvas and timeline, well, they display your editing decisions, the final sequence, and of course, you can make adjustments in the timeline. How do you do these adjustments, mark clips and edit them in? Well, we'll look at that in coming lessons, but it's just good that you have a good understanding of Final Cut Pro's interface. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, message us with any requests, um, comment, rate, feedback, we love it. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with more soon. Bye-bye.